All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Fundamentals of Accountancy, Business and Management 1 is ordered online class. So for class, here are some house rules. First, please be ready and check if your gadgets and connections work well. Second, turn off your mic while the teacher is speaking. Third, activate your camera so that the teacher and your classmates can see you. Fourth, don't be afraid to ask questions. And most importantly, enjoy learning. So are you now ready to start our class? Kindly raise your hand if you are now ready. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, from the book of Isaiah 41, 10. It says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand, says the Lord. Let us bow down our head and let us pray. Lord, help us in our online class today. Give us concentration so that we may listen, understand, learn, and have a peaceful mind. And may we always remember that God is always with us. Amen. Amen. Sentence this morning is to illustrate the accounting equation. What is accounting equation? But before to answer the question, let us be reminded that as business enthusiasts, it's important to understand information about the future business finances. One important thing to look at is the accounting equation. Why is it important? In order to calculate the assets, liabilities, and equity of the company. And the purpose of the balance sheet is to show the financial position of the business on any given day. And it will tell you how much money the business has in the bank and how likely it has the business will be able to meet all of its financial obligations. So what is really accounting equation? May I request Joseph to read the definition of assets. Yes, ma'am. Assets are resources controlled by the enterprise as a result of past events and from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the enterprise. Okay, very good. So in other words, these are the properties owned by the business. So kindly give me some examples of assets that can be found in your room. Joseph, kindly mention some assets. I, I have my personal computer, or rather oh, my laptop. Yes, yes ma'am. Wow, that's good. No? Those are some examples of assets. What about liabilities? Okay, kindly read the definition, Charmeline. Okay, yes, ma'am. Liabilities, these are present obligation arising from past events, the settlement of which is expected to result in an outflow from the entity of resources embodying economic benefits. In other words, these are payables no, or debts. Now, there are so many examples of liability. It can include bank loans, no, credit card accounts, or accounts payable. But if it's made with a uh, promissory, no, a promise to pay, then it's known as notes payable a written promise to pay what about the third element we have equity okay for equity it is the residual interest in the assets of the entity after deducting all its liabilities so meaning to say it refers to the total capital now the owners have invested in the business so when we say owner's capital or equity, it comes from two main sources. 
So first, gikan siya sa investment of owners, then it could be coming from earning from the company. So that's why our equation is always balanced because assets could be funded by liabilities or it can be funded by owner's equity. And there are four factors to consider in analyzing equity. First, we have income. Second, investment. Third, withdrawals. Fourth, are expenses. So when we say income and investment, this could give a positive impact to owner's equity, while withdrawals and expenses can give a negative effect to our equity. Now, first transaction, let's apply our learnings into practice. For transaction number one, if equipment is being invested by the owner, what will happen to asset? Okay, Joseph, what will happen to asset if the transaction is equipment invested by the owner? I, I think the asset decreases, ma'am. Decreases? Why so? Um, because part of the capital is, uh, is uh, deducted or part of the capital is being used. Yes. So that's a nice try, no? But going back to the definition of assets, so when we say equipment, this is an asset. Equipment as an asset, of course, it could give a positive impact. Why? Because of investment. There is a direct relationship between equity and asset in terms of investment. As mentioned a while ago, that investment is one of the four factors that can affect equity. So therefore, whatever kind of asset being invested to the business, asset will always increase. Wala man di mention dere nga na used up or na consume ang equipment. Okay? Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Very clear, ma'am. Ma and for that reason, no effect dahil siya sa liabilities, ma'am, no? And in terms very of equity... Very good analysis. In terms of equity, maka-increase siya instead of decrease. Thank you, ma'am. Very clear. Wow, very good. You are now learning. Now, let's proceed to the second transaction. So, for second transaction... There is a borrowing of money from the bank. Charmeline, what will happen to asset if we have this kind of transaction? If there is a borrowing from the bank, then the asset will increase. Why is that so? Because uh, the money being borrowed will be used or will be um, will be uh, used in this business. In the Correctly. business. Okay, the very business. good. So technically speaking, uh, whenever we borrow money from the bank, cash will always increase. Okay. Then what about liabilities? The liabilities will also increase because of course um, that will be um, that we that needs to be paid to be settled in the future then yes, in equity it will give no effect okay very good now for transaction three we have this asset purchased for cash asset will increase right but cash is also an asset. There is an exchange. You get asset, but in exchange, you pay it through cash. So meaning to say, asset minus asset is equal to zero. In other words, there's no effect in your asset and liabilities also has no effect. Same with equity. Next, transaction number four. 
assets purchased on account. So when we say purchased on account, giutang siya, di ba? Giutang sa business. So you get asset, that's why asset will increase. At the same time, since you purchased it on account, then liabilities or obligations will also increase. And for equity, there's no effect since it's not included in the four factors that can affect equity. Next, transaction number five, cash withdrawal by the owner. So it is the business owner who withdraw cash from the bank. So asset will decrease, of course. Your liabilities will not be affected. And for equity, Diba? Let's go back again to the four factors that can affect equity. Withdrawal can give a positive or negative effect. Negative. Okay, very good. Negative. That's why equity will decrease. Now for the number six transaction, payment of liability. So when we say payment, there is a cash outflow. So asset will decrease. And since you will pay your debt and obligations, liabilities will also decrease. So and equity will give a zero effect. Okay, questions before we will proceed. No, ma'am. <laughs> okay, everything is clear. Now, I have here the choice board. Can you see it in your screen, class? Yes, ma'am. Numbers. So, I want you to choose one number from one to six. Harmelin, you choose number five. Here's the transaction for number five. Receive cash worth 20,000 pesos from services rendered. You need to illustrate accounting equation by indicating whether it is an increase, decrease, or no effect on the asset, liabilities, and equity accounts using the amount given. Here are the following transactions that you need to analyze using accounting equation okay i will be giving you 10 minutes to answer okay very good everyone got perfect what are the values you have learned out from our topic this morning how can you apply accounting equation to your daily transactions as a consumer need to understand always that um uh, in, in, in everything that I do, in everything that I transact, may it be uh, expenses, withdrawals, investment, and income, na aguni sila yung mga possible nga effect sa ako ang business, for example, um, magbukod ko ang bake shop. So, um, for example, um, uh, income, expenses, investment, and withdrawals would always uh, has an effect to the equity every time. For summative assessment, there are two sets of tests. For set A, you will illustrate accounting equation by identifying whether and its increase, decrease, or no effect on asset, liabilities, and equity accounts using the amount given. For set B, you have to understand first each transaction and illustrate accounting equation to indicate its effects using the following symbols. Transactions. I will give you 10 minutes to answer the transactions. Very good. Everyone got perfect. Clarifications? More questions? None so far. So, for next meeting, 
you have to study in advance the next competency, which is to perform operations involving simple cases with the use of accounting equation. Thank you so much, everyone, for your cooperation. I wish everyone a happy and blessed morning ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay.